from RTO here. Welcome to Pick and Mix, where you get something different every week. And this week it's mixing it up, which means we have got a record producer. And today we've got an English producer who was born in November 1946, whose name is Roy Thomas Baker. He, there he is, looking a bit of a dude. Um, not just a record producer, songwriter, arranger, engineer, and pro has produced some of the great rock and pop albums through the 70s. Now, Roy started his career at Decca Records at the age of 14. Then he went on to, as assistant engineer at Morgan Studios, encouraged by a music producer, the legendary Gus Dudgeon. Then he worked, went to move to Trivent Studios, where he currently continued working with, with Gus and the great Tony Visconti. Now the uh, people that he's worked with and engineered were the Rolling Stones, Frank Zappa, David Bowie, The Who, Santana, and the Mother's Invention, and T-Rex. Not a bad way to start, is it really? Working with some greats. But in 1970, he started producing as a producer in his own right. And the first album he did in 1970, not just a little band, it was free. And their Fire and Water album, yeah, Roy Thomas Baker produced this album. We've got the brilliant Mr. Big on here, Fire on Water, and of course, all right now. Good way to start your music career, isn't it? 1972 was his next production job, and that was for Nazareth and the album Exercises. 1692, Glen Co. Massacre is on there, and of course, Woke Up This Morning, classic Nazareth song. 1973. We start working with a Dutch rock band called Gasoline and their album Gasoline 3. Um, Gasoline were formed in 1969 by Kim Larson, Franz Beckerley, and Willie Janssen. Now, I've been practicing my Danish. There's a, there's a great track on here called Smoot Linda Jeg de Spittergal. Probably got that totally wrong. I'm sure my uh, esteemed friends in Scandinavia will put me right. And Kathy Parody, excellent track. Also in 1973. And this is only, he it was credited as um, Roy Baker for this. And it's the debut album from Queen. What album? Keep Yourself Alive, Liar, Doing Alright. Absolute classics now, and they are just it's just a brilliant debut album. 1974, he's back working with Gasoline on Stakal's Gym, which is Poor Gym in English. Outstanding tracks on there is Ala Tingala and Joshua Ulming, or something like that. Really good rock tracks. Gonna check them out more um, later this year. 74, he was quite busy because he worked on the second album from Queen, Queen 2. Some classics on here, isn't there? White Queen as it began. The Fairy Fellas Masterstroke and Seven Seas of Right. Fantastic. Up next for him in 74. Hawkwind, my favourite Hawkwind album. Hall of the Mountain Grill, one of my favourites. Weber Change, Web Feeler, and the Hall of the Mountain Grill. Fantastic. Then he goes and works in the sort of Hawkwind mode. He works with Robert, Robert Calvert, Calvert on Captain La Lockheed and the Starfighters. Excellent album, this is. Uh, you've got the Aerospace Inferno, the Widowmoke, and the right stuff. Just Classic tracks off there. Then he works with a, a rock band called Man. They were a rock band from Wales. Didn't they? Formed in 1968. They were from Merthyr Tidfield. 
and uh, it's a good album. It's called Rhinos, Winos, and Lunatics. There's some great tracks on here. We've got Four Day Louise and Scotch Corner Exit. Yeah, interesting, great track. Staying in 74. He works on the second album of the year for Queen. My favourite Queen album of all time. She How to Cut. Brighton Rock. Killer Queen. Now I'm here. That Classic tracks. We move on to 1975. And he's back up with Queen. And of course he works on a Night of the Opera. Death on Two Legs. You're my best friend, love of my life, life, and of course Bohemian Rhapsody. And this is where he, Freddie said to Roy, and now this is where the opera comes in, dear. And it blew Roy totally away, but uh, yeah, he's the man responsible for Bohemian Rhapsody and getting it how it was. Okay, staying in 1975, he goes and works with a little band called Jet. Now these are a glam rock band. We only released the one album. It's a pretty good album. And, uh, Tracks on there that are to look out for is a thing called Nothing to Do With Us and Tittle Tattle Facts and Info. Mm. 1975 as well. He works with Bebop Deluxe on the Futurama album, which is a pretty good album. Uh, it's got Love with the Madman. I love that one. And then Sister Sea Girl Music in Dreamland. Great, great tracks. Then he's at back working with Gasoline again on Gas 5. Robata Sarge and Master of Seuss. Eight outstanding tracks off that album. So we move on to 1976. And he works with a chap called Lewis Fury. Born Lewis Greenblatt. He's a comedian, singer, violinist, pianist, actor and director. On, the, on an album called The Humours Of. Lullaby, poetic young man and who got the dog are pretty good. Also in 76, he works with Ian Hunter on his Overnight Angels album. Great album. The title track is a fantastic track. Justice of the Peace, England Rocks. Brilliant. Then we get another Gasoline album and it's called Efter and Dag. We've got Mama Cuckoo, De Gulenka, and Alex Harvey, This Is My Life. Pretty good tracks. Then he goes and works with a great little proggy band called Star Castle on their 1977 album, Fountains of Light. I love this album. Fountains, True Light and Diamond Song is just fantastic. Star Castle released another album, of course, in 77. It's Citadel. Can't Think Twice, one of my favourite songs. Evelyn Wind. And where have they gone? Great tracks from another great album. We move on to 1978 now. And he works with the legendary Dusty Springfield on It Begins Again, her comeback. Checkmate is a fantastic song on that album. A Love Like Yours and The Wonderful I Found Love With You. And then he goes and produces one of the great debut albums we featured it not so long ago on the channel the cars debut album good times just roll just what i needed and don't just stop classic album classic debut produced by this great man fantastic then he's up again with queen on their 1978 album of jazz bit of fat button girls for you dead on time love that track and Don't Stop Me Now, Bicycle Race, they're all on there. Another great little track. Then he works with Journey on their Infinity album. Low, I've got to get this right, I never, Low Dada, Wheel in the Sky, classic. And The Winds of March, brilliant. Moving on to 1979, he decided that Journey must have been impressed because they invited him back for... Evolution, Too Late, Loving, Touching, Loving You, is easy, fantastic tracks. Then he goes and works with a stone and a faces. Ron Wood and Gimme Some Neck, great album. 
Why worry no more? Oh, yeah, shall we start that again? Why worry no more? Buried alive and come to release. Great album. Then he's back working with the Cars on their 1979 hit album. Candio, let's go, Candio, Lust for Kicks. Fantastic tracks. Also in 1979, goes and works with another great band, Foreigner, and he works on my favourite, one of my favourite uh, Foreigner albums, Head Games, Dirty White Boy. Classic. Love on the telephone and the brilliant Head Games. You can't go wrong. Then he goes and works with Alice Cooper in 1980 on Flush the Foul Fashion. Particularly not a favourite of mine of... Uh, Alice, he was going through a lot of issues back then, but he's produced well. Leather Boots is good and Grim Facts. And he works on another um, Cars album, Panorama. Love this album. Give Me Some Slack, he's just absolutely killer. Getting Through the Misfit Kid, brilliant. 1981 now, he's working with them again on the Shake It Up album. Brilliant album. Just got some classics on there. 1982, he's working with Cheap Trick, if you want my loves on one to one, absolutely brilliant, uh, looking out for number one, another good one, who's got hold of me, brilliant, and then he works with Devo, oh no it's Devo, now I don't like this album, one that little bit. I know there's a lot of people that like Devo, but oh, I just didn't like that album. 1982, he gets some works on the debut album for Motley Crue, Too Fast for Love. Take Me to the Top and Starry Eyes and Too Fast for Love. Some highlights of that. Then he works with a little band called Espionage, they were a pop band formed in 1983, and their self-titled debut. It's alright, we got Ship Across the Night. <laughs> yeah, and the rest of the album's a little bit, oops. Then he takes a break, and a well-earned break, I think. And then in 1985, he turns up on Jolyn Turner's Rescue You. Really good album. Gets forgotten about. On the run and the race is on. Highlights. And then also in 1985, he's working with Mr. John Anderson on the Three Ships album. It's all right. It's a bit poppy. Save Your Love is a great track, though. Always been a favourite. And then in 1987, he works on with De Powell on their debut album, Bridge of Spies, 1987. Heart and Soul, Monkey House, and the big hit off that album, of course, is China in Your Hand. 1987. He goes and works with one of my favourite glam rock bands ever. He works with Slade on their You Boys Make Big Noise. Not a bad album. Fools Go Crazy is a great track. And You Won't Rock With Me. Great stuff. 1988. He goes and works with an Ozzy Osbourne on No Rest For The Wicked. He's getting around his Al Roy. Um, Miracle Man, Devil's Daughter and the Tattoo Dancer. Highlights on there. 1989, he's working with the Stranglers on the 10 album, Someone Like You, Where where I Live, Where where I li Live, and of course the cover of 96 Tears. Then he goes and works with a Birmingham band, a rock band, I saw quite a lot because they seemed to get the support act at the NEC back in the day, Shy and the Mist Spent Youth album. Particularly not, when it, it, this is towards their end of their theater, art, um, career. It's not a, not the best album. Um, but the band are pretty good. That was in 1990. 1991, he works with a band called Dangerous Toys. They're a rock band with humorous lyrics. And the Helios Acres album. Uh, it's quite a fun album if you ever get to listen to it. It's called, got sticks on tones on stops, sugar, leather on the nail. Very funny, very clever stuff. And Amy D seems to disappear for a little while. Um, and he comes back in 1998. 
for a band called Local H. Now they're an American rock band formed by Scott Lucas and Mark Matt Garcia on their Pack Up The Caps album. It's okay. Uh, Char said to the kitty and what can I tell you are really good. 2005. He's working with The Darkness on their One Way Ticket to Hell and Back, which is a great cover, as you can see, and the track Knockers, <laughs> and it's just me, girlfriend. Uh, and then 2014 is the last sort of entry we've got and it's yeah yes is heaven and earth not the best album musically but project production is fantastic from roy light of ages is pretty good and all was all we knew uh the outstanders on that one um so there we go this he's produced now i've got a ch i've got to pick my five haven't i oh dear this was hard, actually. So, my number five, I went for the Evolution, the fifth album of uh, Journey. It's the last, first album that featured Steve Smith, of course. The band at the time were Steve per Perry, Greg Rolly, Neil Sean, Ross Roy, and Steve Smith. A great lineup. Some great tracks on here, of course. Majestic, Too Late, Loving, Touching Squeeze, in City of Angels. Loving You Is Easy, Daydream, Lady Look. Great album. Up for me next was the third album from Foreigner, Head Games. Which had, on here we've got Lou Graham, Mick Jones, Ian McDonald, Rick Wills, the classic lineup, Hal Greenwood and Dennis Elliott, Dirty White Boy of Cool, Love on the Telephone, 17. This is Head Games itself. Great album. Number three for me, Hawkwind's Hall of the Mountain Grill. Dave Brock, Nick Turner, Lemmy, Simon House, Simon King and Del Datamar. Absolutely killer album. Psychedelic Warlords opens up. Winger Change, of course, D-Rider, Web Weaver, Lost Johnny, Hall of the Mountain Grill. Absolutely brilliant album. My number two, there'd have been a shock if this hadn't been in here. The Cars debut, of course. Rick Oskak, Elliot Easton and Benjamin Orr, Dave Robinson, Greg Hortz. Good times, good times rock. Love that. Just what I needed. I'm in touch with your world. Don't just stop. All mixed up. Some great tracks on there. One of the best debut albums of the 70s. But my number one has to be my favourite Queen album of all time from November 1974 Sheer Heart Attack opens up of course of Bright and Rock love the rock vocals love Brian May's guitar work in this then we get on to Killer Queen my favourite single by Queen then we have the Tenement Funster Roger Taylor's vocal is absolutely wonderful then we get the wonderful little ditty, Flick of the Wrist, Lily of the Valley, the boom-bastic Now I'm Here. Then we open side two with In the Lap of the Gods, the first bit, dramatic, theatrical, the heavy, heavy, stone-cold crazy. Dear Friends, the little nice track, Misfire, a little bit of acoustic. Then we have the jazzy bring back Leroy Brown. She makes me stormtrooper in stilettos. And then Lap of the Gods, the war, la 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 la, and all that. Absolutely brilliant album. So there we go. A little bit of Roy Thomas Baker. What a busy chap, and what some great bands he worked with. I don't know what he's doing now. Probably doing something. Just don't know with this guy. Always probably put his feet up at long last. Anyway, that's all for today when it comes to doing videos. But we'll be back tonight with a live stream from 8 p.m. after a week's break because yours truly wasn't well. Um, we're back strong and um, doing the business from 8 o'clock. 
Tomorrow we have got a live album ranking and we're going to look at a couple of albums by Tin Machine that featured David Bowie, of course. And then we got a special tomorrow as well. Not only are we going to be reviewing the new Magnum album, you look at that as with some happiness and some sadness because it's that sadly we lost Tony Clark in. So also in the mix, I am going to pick my top 10 songs by Magnum that Tony wrote because he wrote them all. So it just gives me an excuse to talk about some great Magnum songs. So the sun's out, it's freezing cold, but at least the sun's out and that's the main thing. So have a great day everyone and I will see you tonight on the live stream. Bye for now.